Hey everybody and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Super Mario World. We're gonna continue Chocolate Island this time. My name is Shadowrunner1989 by the way. Um, yeah, so this is an uh, easy level if you do the way I do it, just rush through it. There's a high risk reward type situation going on. If you uh, jump the P-switch at the beginning of the level then you uh, unleash all these uh, uh, spinies. And that makes it a bit harder. Not too much harder, but I don't really care for score or whatever, so I'm just gonna rush through it to the second part of the level where you've got these uh, raising and lowering of the tubes, and uh, yeah, these accordion-like uh, things you can stand on. They can give you some trouble if you're insecure about where to jump or not, but if you know what you're doing, then it's not that hard. I'm actually kind of bummed that I took some damage against the. Uh, Charging chucks, but hey, we finished the level. We could do uh, Wendy's castle now, but we're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna go back to this level and complete it the non secret way. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that make mistake again. There we go. Go get ourselves a mushroom here. Yeah, if you complete this level in the normal way, you're gonna unle un unlock the most useless. Uh, Ooh, I was so lucky there. The most useless route in uh, in existence, because you just go in a circle and you end up at the same level. However, it does count for 100%, so we're gonna complete it. Because, uh, yeah, of all the games I'm going to let's play, I don't know how many rows are going to be, but this is probably going to be one of the few that they can actually 100%. Because I, usually I'm not much of a completionist, especially when it's just too much hassle and it involves you not dying a lot, like in Crash Bandicoot. Don't expect a 100% Crash Bandicoot let's play from me, because uh, I'm not good enough for that. Okay, so we're going to... Unlock the vine here, fly there, and that's the end of the level. As you can see, we went in a circle. So now we're gonna go get the secret here. And as I said, it's uh, time dependent, so we're gonna... Pretty much rush through the level, get Yoshi here. Thank you, Yoshi. And go through that tube and then see we even though we did it like 10 seconds faster, we're still getting this world, so I'm quite sure that you get this no matter what. Oh, sorry Yoshi. So as you can see we are to through this with 262 now. Which means that, yes, we are in the secret world. I actually think you can get there if you, if you get like two, 245 maybe. So this is definitely enough. And now we get to see the, the key. And go through uh, the Valley of Bowser. So this is just a preview of the Valley of Bowser, the second one. And we get another underground level, of course. It's, uh, it's kind of annoying because it features my... Features my well, not my least favorite charging chuck, but it does feature my... Well, if my least favorite one wouldn't be here, this would definitely be my least favorite one, so... Second least favorite, I think. Oh no! That was dumb. At least we've got the... We've got the feather. Oh dear. <laughs> I may have fucked myself out of the feather now though. Oh no. Actually it was still kind of easy. Well fuck you charging chuck. Wee. Oh 
Okay, good. Yeah, in order, uh, I, I, I want to comment a, a bit more on the lost footage. I don't know why it happened. I must have made some mistakes in rendering them with the uh, with Adobe because the first and last episode of this the session worked fine or well enough at least. Okay, so that ends the second section of this level. It's not such a bad level. I, I mean, it's for an underground level. I kind of like it. Um, I hate spiny so. And here you have another section where you have to uh, jump on platforms and you have to rush for them because they're going down again. It's actually it's not not as easy as the one you get in World 2, but it's still kind of easy. And you get a bunch of charging chucks here again. And then one more series of platforms which are actually okay actually kind of difficult the last one you see you only just well, I okay, probably royally made it but hey we finished the level and we're going to Wendy's castle but not before uh, a minigame Wow, two lives! Well, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth, actually. So the, uh, the, uh, the Winter Olympics are on TV right now. I've got it on, but it's muted. It's the... I think it's the luge. Or the luge, or how you pronounce it. It's kind of fun to watch. I think it would be scary as hell, though. And that's another death. Okay, so this castle is, uh, yeah, it's it's not, not one of my favorites. It's got these things, and they're kind of annoying. I mean, now they go kind of slow, but in this level, and uh, also in the later parts of uh, a, a level that is still to come, they go quite fast, and they, they get a bit hard to evade. Maybe not, not so much in this level, but definitely in the levels that are to follow. Okay... Oh yeah, you can spin jump on those uh, saws, by the way. So I think the blue block might actually be a bit in the way here. I'd much rather just jump straight to the gray block, but you can't when the, the blue block is there, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so yeah, you can see these go much, much faster. But we made it. And that's the halfway point. And now we get uh, another platforming part where you where you can't really set your own pace because it's uh, it has these these uh, yeah up and down going things again. But I don't dislike it as much in this level in these types of levels because unlike in a side scrolling game, you can actually test your own speed uh, by just you know going as fast as you can. Because, yeah, sometimes you, you would just like, okay, I'd better wait here. But here you can just go like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to try that. And then either succeed or fail. But, hey, we finish most of the level. And here's Wendy Koopa, which is just a uh, Lemmy Koopa, but different. Uh, different as in there's two lava balls instead of one. And she's dead. Yes, that's completely normal. When the Okupa in castle number 6 has sung her last song, Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. There is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Yes, there is. And I hate the shit out of the ghost ship. Because it's an underwater level. Not much news there, is there? 
But uh, yeah, with this, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to do about half of the Valley of Bowser. And I hope to see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.